and welcome to the channel. If you like the channel and you like the videos, I'd really ask if you could click the subscribe button, which is I think in this corner, or it might be in that corner, uh, and like. So I thought in today's video, I was going to show you some of the upgrades that I've carried out on my boat in the 12 months since I've had her. I'm gonna forget loads of stuff, so I'm gonna be going backwards and forwards, so I do apologize. But to start with, and start externally, fitted this rather lovely new cover it was a dark blue one a bit like that one over there uh, like it's fairly standard on these boats of this era but it was just it got so hot inside really really hot on a hot day with a blue top you had to take everything off to, to remain mildly cool the thing that i've upgraded as well is this front originally believe it or not this whole section here was one panel so if you want to take the front out, you have to take the whole thing out. I think the previous owner then put zips in the side, so you could take the front out and leave the sides in. But what I've done is I've added an additional zip in the middle, so you can take just this panel out. So if you're at the helm, you can take that panel out, you've got good visibility, you can take the second one out. They're designed to roll up as well, and either clip up here, or as you probably know with a lot of sea lines, you can fold them up inside this clamshell at the top. So that's externally of the cover i've also added a new power socket because the old one was getting slightly corroded and a little bit broken during the winter i have wessex cleaned all the teak inside and outside and i'm probably going to put some i can't remember the name of it but put some uh, sealer on it to seal it down actually i'm going to go forwards first because it's an interesting one i've also added because on these boats it's really hard to see what the anchor's doing because the anchor and the chain as you can see here sits underneath the boat so i've added for my own personal gratification if you like let's drop that down over here an anchor camera so in here just that little black dot there is an anchor camera so I can count the cable ties I've got on the anchor chain and the colour markers to see what depth of anchor I'm letting out. I've also, this is very weird, but I've actually timed the anchor when it was on the hard standing to see how long it takes per two metres to winch out. Also replaced the wiper blades, although you wouldn't notice. Replaced the lights for LED lights in the navigation lights. Just head back on board for a minute. So what have I done inside here? Well, the first thing I did, which is really weird, is the fridge, cockpit fridge door in here was rotten. It was the original angle fridge and this metal piece had rotted completely out. So I replaced it with a piece of um, galvanized mild steel so that is never going to rot. Shut that back up. I've also made myself a little table because the big table, which sits under here and fills in this entire space, is absolutely brilliant. But if you want to grab a cup of coffee or you want to move around the boat when we're going along, it's quite big. So I've got some old ply, teak ply that I found in a skip, and I made myself a little table out of that. I won't bore you with all the bits and pieces, but I've put some hinges under there here so that when you lift it up, it doesn't fall back down. Dashboard wise, I replaced all of the carling switches along here because previously you couldn't actually read what they were. I replaced the old cigarette lighter for a double USB socket. And as you see my previous videos, you'll know I've replaced the old Raymarine navigator with a, a modern Raymarine Axiom I think that's an Axiom 9 off the top of my head. Biggest thing and the thing I probably benefit from the most is I added a side power bow thruster. And I paid the extra small premium for the remote control and that is also wired into the anchor so you can put the anchor up and down and control the boat or the bow of the boat, the bow thruster from wherever you happen to be which is really brilliant because I love single handed uh, mooring. So I can come on, I can put the whip the stern line around on the stern and use the button to hold the bow in whilst I go and put the bow line on. 
so I think that is probably it from in here oh I've replaced the lights for LEDs as well sure there's something I've missed but there you go so let's have a step down below decks so a couple of things I've done down here starting with again I've replaced all the lights for LEDs I've replaced the under counter tubes sort of the fluorescent tubes that are in there for two LED strips. I had by KJ Howes, they made me this rather lovely sink cover because prior to that, you just get a big hole and you lose quite a lot of worktop space, particularly when you're cooking because obviously this section here comes off. But that I really like. Gosh, what else have I done down here? Oh, well, you won't, you can't see it. Well, I can show you, I suppose. I've replaced the sump box so the sink and the bathroom over here shower pumps out into this box down here I probably can't see it and when that box is full the pump throws it all over the side that wasn't working when I bought the boat so that's been replaced golly gosh I've uh, oh yeah there's the, <laughs> there's a, the on off switch or the master switch for the bow thruster I've taken, again, when we came on board, it's really weird, there was one power socket over there. So I've lifted all the floor up, run it all over, and put another double power, or four, four power socket on that side. In the bathroom, or the head, as we like to call it, I have completely, let's put the light on, because I actually know where it is on this boat. I have completely rebuilt the loo system. I won't show you, but I've also replaced the heads, the macerator pump and um, the whirly bit inside, I should, impeller. I've replaced all the lights in here for LEDs as well. I've added some quite nice little reading lights in here, in the aft cabin, just here. Because the problem is, if you want to turn the main lights off, which are up here at night, the switch is over there. So you've got to get out of bed to turn the lights on and off. So my wife and I have got separate reading lights also replaced or not replaced because it was never one to start with but i fitted an inline water filter absolutely brilliant it takes the water from the tap it's a carbon style filter filters it all out and makes it very very drinkable also run a new pipe from the holding tank so the old pipe was very very blocked up i couldn't get the old pipe out particularly easily so i put the new pipe in its place Oh, golly gosh, what else have I done? Oh, I've replaced all the fire extinguishers. Um, and of course, I forgot my biggest thing, actually. This is the thing I like the most. Now, this, when I bought the boat, had the engine hatch, as you see it here. It was on standard, I think they call them gas strut hydraulic rams, which was absolutely fine. It did a perfectly capable job until one day they decided to collapse on me when I was, uh, when I was, luckily not in the engine bay or anywhere near it so and it is quite a large hatch it's quite a large area to lift up so with the help of my dad i've put an electric ram on it so again let me just reiterate you push the up button and is i think i've already done a video on this i do apologize for upsetting or boring have you seen this before but it puts the ram up I've forgotten to put the engine lights on actually, so. But that is in real time, so it's pretty, pretty quick. I'm just going to stop the video and go and put the engine lights on. Bear with me. Right, there you go, engine lights are on. So from an engine perspective, what have we done down here? Well, like all the rest of the lights, I have changed these to LED. Here's my rather lovely, beautiful hydraulic ram. Like so. You can't see it here, but there's black bits dotted all over the place. That's the uh, ventilation, the breather foam that goes over the breather vent. So I've replaced that as well. And anyone who's watched my previous videos will know that I have replaced the insert in the air charge cooler. Part of that also involved changing the oil cooler and the fuel cooler. Also, I've had the engine serviced and I, I fitted a new blower 
uh, extractor fan down here as well. Can't think of much else I've done, but obviously I wouldn't suggest we talk to my wife about this, but I've probably spent a few quid doing it all. But I'll be honest with you, it's given me a boat that I really like. I'm just hoping now that we can have a season that goes with it. And probably the last thing I would be looking to do would be replace the fabric or the seat cushions, because in certain places, if you look here, they've started to separate on the stitching, but you have to draw the line somewhere. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed the video. As I mentioned at the start of the video, it'd be really great if you could like and subscribe. So thank you for watching. Appreciate your time and I shall see you next time around. Cheerio.